Hi neighbors, uh, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and today I'm doing a Canadian uh, thing. It's a special Canadian herbal tea. It's called London Fog and it's out of Calgary, Alberta, out west. I have never had it, but I've been looking at how it's made and researching about this and that and the most popular way they make it and all this. And I'm going to make one for hubby. Uh, he's out doing uh, work on the pergola, finishing it up. And I'll take you out and show you that. And uh, I'm just waiting for my water to boil. Uh, there's different ways you can sweeten this. I'm going to show you the, uh, a popular one and tell you some other ways that you can sweeten it. But of course, you can sweeten this London fog however you please. I'm going to tilt this down. I've been uh, working on different camera stuff, so I'm trying different focuses, hopefully making the video uh, more enjoyable for you all. I'm going to be hooking up a couple of different cameras when I'm doing my barbecues, at least I'm going to try, and uh, so that I can get some different angles to you. Because filming yourself, it's a bit more difficult than when uh, Casey used to, used to help me out. Yeah, he's too busy to do that, and during the pandemic he had time. Anyway. I'm going to get my water. My water is just about boiled and I'm warming up uh, some milk. It's just 2%. It's like, a, it's like a latte, I guess you can say. Uh, we like our tea strong. Oh, uh, I'll, show, I'll show you the two horns. Um, we like our tea strong. Oh, and because it's ca Canadian uh, herbal tea, it's our Canadian uh, recipe or whatever, it's used using Earl Grey tea, and I'm going to use Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, because it's Canadian. I think it's American owned now. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's a Canadian thing. Uh, this got the little strings on it. I like, uh, I like uh, Orange Pico tea. I like Earl Grey. I'm going to use, because these are big mugs, I'm going to use two. To get, to get these started. Two per cup, because we like strong tea, Bobby and I. Uh, I never bought the Tim Hortons Earl Grey. I had it at Tim Hortons, but I never bought the, contain, the box of them. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing real well and are enjoying the days. I've been trying to spoil my hubby a lot lately. Oh. Kind of spoil them anyway, but you know what I mean. A little extra, giving them little treats that he likes, food wise. Here goes the doggy, hon. I've been uh, doing a couple of things for hubby leading up to Father's Day. Uh, I know a lot of you have been here, and I'm doing a lot of videos uh, coming, like, I'm gonna try doing like pretty much every day of June showing a video. It's a bit of a distraction. A uh, few years back on, on uh, June 18th, 2019, we lost our firstborn, our oldest boy. And this year, it, it was a few days before Father's Day at the time. This year, it falls on Father's Day. So I know that it's gonna be, a, like all days are difficult without our Andrew but extra difficult without our Andrew that day. And I know it's gonna be kind of, kind of difficult for hubby. So I just been kind of like made him pineapple uh, meringue and I'm just making him some, some of his favorites this month and thought I'd come on uh, daily and kind of share what, I, what I'm doing, what I'm making. I wanna start vlogging, showing some things. And I know I said that before and then I get kind of shy, believe it or not, and then I don't. See, I was going to steep it in the pot, but I don't like the strings in the pot. Anyway, so thank you for being here. We love tea. Growing up in the East Coast, there was always a pot of tea on. I think I put a little bit much in there. Maybe not. Because um, I want to have room for the milk. Uh, yeah, a pot of tea on every house you walked into. A pot of tea was always on the stove. And if it wasn't, they'd be putting the pot on when you walked in the door. So it's a East Coast, uh, big tea drinkers. So we like our tea. So this is gonna be a nice little 
a different tea for a change for the hubby out there. He's working hard, you know. He's always working hard. Oh, I got to show you uh, something while that's steeping. Look at this. Graham's parents sent this up, and it is so true. Graham works very hard, and uh, the extra expense of the vet bills has been astronomical, to be honest. So it's a, it's a true thing. And this is Harrietta right here, and, that, and she's worth it. Aren't you, baby? Come on in, boo-boo. You was you out watching Daddy? Okay. I'm gonna save those tea bags and use them another and use them in another cup. They'll probably be good for another cup. Make a mess there, Jerry. Okay. So I'm gonna froth up my milk just because I like to do that. Yeah, I don't think you really have to. I find moving it up and down gives it a nice, nice volume, a nice frothiness. In my experience using this thing, if you have one, lift it above and go into the milk and above and go into the milk. I find that works really well. Okay, shut it off. And how it's sweetened. A uh, shot of vanilla, I'm using vanilla coffee syrup. I'm going to use a half a tablespoon in each one, each drink. And you can use brown sugar for a uh, sweetener, give it a sort of a caramely kind of uh, taste. I'm going to use a bit of honey. A half a tablespoon again. Okay. Then the milk. And then lavender, but make sure it's culinary grade. Okay. That's, uh, I'm just going to use that, like a half teaspoon. You can use, it's just, an, it gives a nice fragrance and taste to it. I'll use it, enough for two of them, quarter of a teaspoon each, just about. It smells really nice. Anyway, let's take this on out to hobby. Let's have a little a sip here. Cheers, neighbors. Love yous. Ooh, nicey, nice. Gave it a little mix when I put the honey in. Oh, that, that is really good. I'm telling you, oh, that is tasty. I'm planning on doing a couple of videos or today. One of them is going to be over barbecuing, and I'll put that separate. You coming out here, Yada? Okay, this hubby at work. Hey, hon. So we got the, I got this area set up that uh, well, so when we do the pizzas, put the pizza oven on top of that part and make some pizzas. And we sit at the bistro set and have a slice. Yes. Now, I made this from the dollar store. I got your tea, hun. You want to do a tasty poo for the neighbors? Andrew's garden is coming up. We got some tiki torch lights that we're going to hang here and a couple of uh, plants. I'll show it to you later. Here, have a tasty pool. Taste. What's that? Cinnamon? Lavender. Lavender. Boy, it smells like lavender. Yeah. That's nice. That's tea? Yeah, that's tea. It's a, a latte tea. Tastes like hot chocolate. Yeah, it tastes, because, well, there's honey in it for sweetener. 
Nice. Yeah, it is nice. Delicious. Eh? Yeah, we never we never made this before. I just researched on how to make them. Great. I think it's great too. Definitely a nice treat. Is that too much lavender for you? Would you like a little less? That's too much lavender for me. Yeah. I, I think I'll go with just a tit, uh, just a few suggest, sprinkles. I would sprinkles. Okay, neighbors, having this here, sitting at our little table, enjoying. Uh, I, I think I have an idea. Next time, I'm going to put the lavender in like the tea bag, like um, we have these little bags that we make our own uh, tea in. And I'll put it in there and then give it that hint of lavender or just put like just a couple of little uh, lavender uh, bits on top just a couple to give it the scent and to add a little bit of flavor because uh, using the quarter of a teaspoon each for us anyway didn't want to like when we're drinking it to get all those little bits but it was still good with it but I think I, I would change it up but that is the recipe there in a nutshell you make some Earl Grey tea, warm yourself up some milk, froth it up, put a little bit of honey and a shot of the vanilla. Lavender or not, that's gonna be delicious. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do a barbecue video today. I'm gonna to separate these two videos. So the barbecue video will be on its own and kind of show you the setup here. Hubby is getting some things done there. I got a couple of things to do, de-weeding and that. And uh, yeah, join us in the next video, please. Okay, so peace, love, God bless. Please come back again. Like, share, subscribe, and love you all. Take care. Bye.